Jumping right into it, this is what the wig looks like on straight out of the box. This is Chris Beauty's new clear lace, clean hairline, silky straight, 13 by 6, undetectable skin melt lace front wig. Here is what the wig looks like inside the cap. Also, I want to mention that I did go ahead and buff the foundation powder underneath the lace. For me, this is a great step to go ahead and pretty much act as a lace tint and give the lace a warmer tint and a deeper tone that fits my complexion. So I decided to go for a side part with this one, and I am going to go for more of a curved side part which is more on trend especially on like tick tiktok and social media i did stamp it out with the wax stick from bdecbd.com and i paired that with the electric hot comb also from bdecbd.com shameless plug and those are both linked in the description box i like to go in and just take my time and give the wig as many heat passes to give it a very nice thin lace clean hairline super flat parting now i'm going to go ahead and cut off all the excess lace around the ears i'm going to do sideburns this time around so i did go ahead and kind of thin out the sideburns just a little bit so they're not too thick now this step is key for me because i feel like um wigs always are a little bit long around the ear for me which is perfect because it gives me the option to cut around the lace get a load of how undetectable this one is absolutely perfect so i'm going to go ahead and cut off the remainder of the lace and we're going to begin the process of bonding the wig down i did not pluck tweeze anything i did not bleach the knots all that is done by chris beauty before you even receive your wig and we're going for a glueless install so i did apply my even um to the center blow dry on a cool setting and then i'm going to do each side one by one this is my favorite method just to make sure that everything is done properly and that the lace has time to adhere and dry and all of that it's going to give the illusion that we've literally bond the wig down but this is literally just a extra hold hairspray that allows us to go ahead and remove our wig at our convenience without having to do this whole removal process you literally just use h2o now that was a mouthful i almost ran out of breath now i am going to go for a little bit of baby hair in the front i want that again tiktok instagram baddie look so we went with the curved parting with a little bit of baby hair that swoops perfectly on each side and then i'm also going to add sideburns to the um look just to make it look you know again i want to go for the instagram baddie vibe and the beauty in this one is that because it's such a clean hairline it's not going to look like too much or overdone at all yeah I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go one chance and go on life. Now that we're done with the sideburns and the baby hair and the hairline and all that, let's just go ahead and add a melt belt to the hairline. This is going to help the lace to really melt down and look like it's coming out of the scalp. This is a key step. It's kind of underrated because if you don't do it, you feel like what's the point? Like we're already done with the hairline. But it does make a huge difference in making sure that the wig super duper like just lay super flat and just melts to the hairline as best as it can. In the process, I'm going to go ahead and soak out the rest of the hair by doing the um chase method i believe this is what this is called where you just take a rat tail comb and you chase the flat iron with the comb and this is going to give you a silky bone straight look i did not add any product to the hair at all but feel free to add a heat protectant to protect the hair you can also add a hairspray you can add layers you can literally do whatever you want with this one i felt like it didn't need any of that at all but of course, last step for me is always to just go ahead and tint the lace. I'm going to use a foundation powder along the hairline and then my Fenty concealer in the parting. Be sure to buff it and blend it out as best you can. And voila, perfection. Okay, so I'm watching my girl Pretty Bream MUA. I also am just finishing up the look. I love the bounce and movement with this one. And I also, of course, love the beautiful hairline. This one was an absolute perfect, easy breezy install, courtesy of Chris Beauty as always. 
Um, they did send me two pieces of lace, like little samples, and I'm going to show you each of them. So this one here is, let's see, one is transparent lace. And you guys can see, holding it up to my complexion, you guys can see that like mm, 10 years ago, this was like a vibe. This was like, yes, we, we, we really want this. But at new age, when we so advanced and so spoiled, this is definitely going to give a little bit ashy. You can make it work. You can blend it with powder, concealer, lace tint or whatever. But it definitely has an ashy cast to it. This here is clear lace, which is where we are now with technology and, and all of the innovation. And as you guys can see, it blends perfect. It's almost like a filter. It's a perfect blend to the complexion and it's gonna smooth everything out and be perfect. These are the two side by side and there's no question. This one here is gonna melt and this one here is going to sit on top. I'm gonna, got to be glue them down. <coughs> Except I'm going to use even. And you guys see there's two lace here. You can only see this one. This one melts in seamlessly. Why? Because this is the better choice. This here is nuclear lace. This is transparent lace. It's always going to lift faster and easier. The lace itself always feels like a thicker, like harder texture. This one is soft and it's going to blend with the arch. This one is on a straight piece of skin and this is on a curved piece of skin or part of my hand and you guys see it melts and just goes with the curve this one is going to sit on top and it's not even about the other one having more product if you add more product it's still not going to lay and just melt in like this one so obviously clear lace is a winner Yeah, I feel like I just look so pretty and so grown and sexy in this wig. I feel like life has been life in and I've been really running it down. It's, so I've been wearing this one wig that I lost um, when I was in a wig sale. And then it magically appeared right before or right after school started for the kids. But for some reason, like... Life has just been life in so much that this wig has just been sitting on my head like a hat. I'll take it off to do other things, to wash my braids, but just looking pretty on a daily day basis just hasn't felt like an option. So I'm happy to have something that looks like what I really want to look like on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know what these hair companies are going to do when I open up or launch my own line. Let me know if there's something you guys are interested in because I'm highly thinking about coming up with a pop-up maybe over holidays and seeing how it goes and if you like it we'll keep it i'm kind of nervous to do hair because you guys know everybody has a hair company but let me know what you guys think because if so i can go ahead and get the hair ordered now and order the packaging i think i should maybe a pop-up for the holiday season just something fun to do anyways this is the packaging for chris beauty love a good orange it does come wrapped like a gift with a cute little bow on top. They did also include some wig caps, um, just the regular ones we are used to, but I actually needed a fresh wig cap, so I used it at the beginning of the video, which comes in handy. They gave you the um, adjustable elastic band. It's the bra strap style, um, edge brush in the color yellow, a big rat tail comb, which I love these. There's one in every room or almost every room of the house including all the girl stuff, and then a pack of flexi rods. I just look clean, pretty, beautiful. I love a good vibe that just brings out the natural, gorgeous vibe. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do that pop-up or should I not? Are there enough hair companies out there for now? Let me know what you guys think. Also, be sure to check out this wig. In the meantime, in between time, I'll have a direct link to this one in the description box. You can also find me on Instagram as well as TikTok. Um, I have all that down below. So check that out before you head out. Comment below. Do you guys think? Yes, pop-up shop. No. What you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.